Welcome everyone to Let's Play Aladdin. If it wasn't obvious from the story already, a game made by Capcom released in 1993 by Merlin correctly. Let's get out of this demo. Oh, that's new. Kinda wish I did not press start. Well, this game offers offers a password system like in many Capcom games. And the option to listen to the soundtrack at the get-go. That's very nice of them. Several control schemes, but I'm sticking with this control. Okay, not but that. <laughs> Silly Abu. Let's press start. This game's a platformer, of course. You can press jump. With control set 1, you can jump with B, run with Y. And you can press A to throw apples. These will stun enemies temporarily, or depending on the size of the enemy, it can instantly kill them. Your goal is to get from to move left to right, not get killed, of course. And basically just finish the level. And these, these vases will contain random items, not just apples, they will also contain pieces of bread and also maybe a turkey or a chicken, I don't know what to call it. And what I got here was a sheep. You can use it to float gently down by holding down the R button. That heart crystal, if you if you looked at the up, to the upper left corner, it gave me an extra heart. Now this game encourages collecting, and the main collecting item of this game are red jewels. The red jewels are worth three normal green jewels, and if you collect enough of these red jewels, you'll unlock a special ending, which I will be going for. These guys are just annoying. I hate these. I hate those archery. Oh. The right, thing about these bars is that you need to let go at almost at the highest point, or just at the best time possible. You use your to get this one, and we are finished with the first part of the level. Oh yes, and the scare of unlocks, a bonus game for us. You spin a wheel. As you can see, you can get lives here. You can recover fully by if you land on the heart icon. The star icon gives you an extra continue. I think the genie icon, depending on your situation, like if you haven't taken any damage, he'll probably give you an extra heart. If you have, he'll just heal you fully. It's kind of hard to say what's the best one here. See what I get this time. Uh, I got a credit. Oh, now that that's done, part two. Alright, each of these apples on the ground, they'll give you ten apples each. It's a little much if you ask me. Oh right, bread. Silly guys. These guys are trying to be Donkey Kong or something. I saw that red jewel. Sucker. Now there's that turkey that heals us fully. Oh, one thing I for one thing else I forgot to mention. If you collect a hundred jewels, you'll be rewarded with an extra heart. Not an extra life in others like in other standard uh, platformers. 
At the end of this game, it is possible to get 10 hearts. And if you know what you're doing, these 1-ups are very easy to get. And already, here is the end of the level. Part 3. And not every well not every level will have the same amount of parts to each level. So don't expect every level to be as long as this one. Ah oh, dang it. I missed that guy. Also to the left. The bottom left there is a one-up if you want it. Right now I don't want to waste well, I don't want to waste the time getting that one. Now, this is a very risky ritual to get. This game is gonna have a few of those situations. Don't need it, but I will take it. And how did you not die? There's another red jewel for our troubles. And let's ride. I could have gotten that one if I didn't use the sheets. And here is the last part of level one. Just gonna try to skip everything. Aw, oh, can't pull off an awesome jump combo. Here's our first boss of the game. A merchant. Just wait till he swings and then jumps on jump on his head. While he's swinging like mad, you can't hit him. Once you get a good system down, he's very easy. I love Paul Boo looks up there. Look at him pretending to help. We're at the show off, aren't you, Boo? And who's this lady? And here's our password for level two. 